All right, here's your hint for number six, a little tricky on this one. So when we set our problem up, we have our starting point, we have our ending point, we start crossing stuff out, there is no one applying a force, there's no kinetic energy at the end, it starts and ends at the same height, so the two potential energies cancel out, and the spring is originally not compressed. So what I'm left with then is I'm left with this work done by friction is equal to the negative kinetic energy at the start plus the elastic potential energy at the end. The trick here is that friction acts not only the distance before it hits the spring, but also that distance with which it compresses the spring. So we end up putting in for the distance that that force of friction is working for that distance away from the spring plus how much the spring was compressed. In doing so, we now have a term x squared, we have a term without x, we have a term with x. So we end up with a quadratic to solve. Um, so you can choose to use solver or polysimult here to finish that problem off. And as usual, be sure to check to make sure that negative sign comes through, um, that you're substituting in for normal force, that that displacement doesn't fall off, things like that. There's your hint.